Listen, the party is rocking at Union Station. The DJ just cranked the music about 18 octaves. And this crowd is pumped as a yes. result. I can hear you guys now. <laughs> I've never been closer to Kevin. Hey, come on, oh my God. Able to not we have special hey, guests Lowry. out the woodwork. Well, we're kicking for the Chiefs. Oh, my goodness. What's up, Nick? How are you, man? We're going to make some space. Yeah, Bring hey, no, no, no. There we go. Yeah, right here, Nick. Put it on here. Nick Lowry. Are you still one of the all-time leading scorers? Are you all the all-time right. leading scorers? Hello? Yeah, there we go. Nobody scored more points. Nick, were you able to go down to Miami and take that all in? I was, and it was unbelievable to be in the stadium and witness this team. All right, we're alive right now. Yeah. With eight minutes <laughs> left, there's only one team that, that could have done what we did. And this team has not only a champion on it, they're great people. This is the best team I've ever seen. I'm willing to say even better than the team I was on in 94 with Joe Montana. You were on some great teams in the 90s. You yes. know how that sometimes doesn't matter. There's great teams every year that don't win it. Even the yes. even the Patriots in their 20 years, they won six titles. They went 10 years without winning. You know how hard it is. There, there has to be it's some so fortune hard. involved, some luck involved. <laughs> There's luck, but also we had bad luck for the first quarter of three straight games, sure. first half. And then we found a way. The Patrick Mahomes, Andy Reid, the fastest wide receiver in the history of the game in three kill, the second fastest receiver, maybe, <laughs> oh, yeah. in McCall Hartman, a defense that came on, Frank Clark, a beast, uh, Tyron Matthew, but the character of this team hey, I got a question is for you. just so beautiful to watch, yeah, you know? Absolutely. As the gold toe yourself, have you ever have you had any conversations with Harrison Bucker or any members of special teams? You know, I stay as far away from Harrison as I can because he's so good. He's got he's like that golfer that has the Perfect swing. Harrison, buddy, you are awesome. I'm just so impressed with him. He's going to be a kicker for a long time. I don't want him to break my records, but frankly, right, right. he's probably going to because he's so good. Uh, he's so, we talked to him beforehand about like the pressure of the Super Bowl. Is that something a kicker seeks out? I want to make that kick, or is it okay? Are you okay with that? That's too big of a moment. You know what? Um, every kid, male or female, that's been an athlete thinks about hitting a three-pointer like Michael Jordan or Stephen Curry or whoever it is. And the same thing, kicking the game-winning field goal, throwing the pass. And so that's in your blood. And the fact that you get a chance to do it, you train so you expect that's going to happen. So when yep. it happens, you don't freak out. It's awesome. Hey, describe this crowd for the folks at home because <laughs> it's intense. We keep trying to describe it, but I want your perspective on what you see. You know what? Uh, I love the Royals. I love Dayton Moore. I love what they did. I love that crowd. I watched that from... Arizona, and I made up my mind if this ever happened here, I'd have to be here because as big as that crowd was, as cold as it is today yeah. compared to that day four years ago, this is more special, and it just cements Kansas City as the best city on the planet. Yeah, when Andy came here seven years ago, I know he opened up the door to all the former Chiefs players. I know that's a big thing. How much of a part of it do you guys feel? Because I've, I've talked to a lot of Chiefs alumni from the 90s, from the 2000s, from well before that. How much of a part of this do you guys feel? You know what? I'm, I'm a fan. I mean, I'm a fan of Patrick. Um, Lee Steinberg, his agent, was my agent. Patrick gets it. He's 24 going on 44 in terms of maturity. He unites this team with a heart, with a spirit. He's a Christian. He's uh, the most devout, uh, aggressive leader. I don't think Joe Montana would have run down the sidelines when we were down 24 to nothing and said, we're going to do something special. This is a remarkable talent, surrounded by remarkable talent, and we're just happy to be fans of this team. So, yeah, I'm proud of the Mont, the Mar Hunt family, Clark Hunt, who was a ball boy when I beat out Jan Stenerud, and now here he is. Uh, they've just done a fantastic job. Yeah. I gotta ask you, where can I get some bling like this? Can we okay. show this bling right here? All right, we're gonna we're gonna be. Look at how awesome that is right there. Can this. we show that? Yeah. Can you see that? Oh, that makes sense right there. The, right there we go. Got the I want some. Where, hey, where can we get that so bling? I'm giving this to Andy and this to Clark. Uh, 
and anybody that wants it, we're going to devote the money to Champions for the Homeless program in my foundation. Right. But, uh, you know, it's Andy, everybody says the same thing about Andy, about Patrick. Incredibly good people, and that means that the players themselves devote themselves more than you've ever seen. That's why they're champions. Awesome. Nick, thanks so much. Thank good you. seeing you. Enjoy Thank the day, you. Appreciate all right? you being here with us, brother. Thank you. All right, Nick Lowry, all-time leading scorer in Chiefs history right there. He's going to go join the party here at Union Station. We'll bring Dia back in here as well. It's going to be cool. We're hoping for uh, former players, active players, Chiefs personnel, that when they come by here, we're going to grab them, throw a mic on them, and talk to them about their emotions of the day and of Sunday and of this magical Chiefs team.